Hello, everybody. Welcome to a game called Detective Pikachu Returns. Oh, here we go. The name's Pikachu, and I'm what you might call a great detective. Good. Oh, Pikachu is just like me. In fact, I have coffee too. Bolts of brilliance. I've solved many. Harry and I ran into some trouble on a case. Harry suddenly disappeared, and I'd lost all my memories. Oh, that's not good. After that, I was wandering the city when I ran into Tim. Do some mic scratches Somehow, he as we get through this exposition. Were one in the same. I'm Detective Harry, because my missing partner just so happened to be Tim's dad. Oh, that's convenient. While we were searching for Harry, we uncovered a series of crimes involving R, a chemical literal Pokemon berserk. Tim and I managed to solve the case and save Rhyme City. you all luck. I don't know how I can be of assistance. Not quite yet. Just where the heck did you go? And so, to promote an even stronger bond between the people and Pokemon of Rhyme City, Hooray. Wake up, Pikachu. Last name, no. Goodman. Due to the R incident, I don't like Goodman. I don't. Some of our citizens began to doubt Rhyme City's model of coexistence with Pokemon. Hmm. So to those of you who were affected, I offer you my deepest sympathies. Ah, oh. Howard Myers. A man with a very checkered past. Oh no. That's not good. Sir, follow me. Everyone, get inside right away. Uh oh. Run away, people. Run. Run. What is going on? Could it be? Or? Or? Don't think so. Its behavior is different. This is like watching a movie. It's alright. That's okay. You can buy another one. Yeah, we gotta get it back. This entire story is about getting the hat back, I think. <laughs> uh, okay, so now Pikachu is actually talking, so I have to talk as Pikachu. What does Pikachu sound like? I, I, I'll do my best. You know how important that hat is to me. Corviknight just flew off with it. What a mess. Let's go get it back. Hmm? What's that? Nice music. Hey, Tim, over here. Okay. Let's investigate. Look, this must be the notebook the mayor dropped. Oh, there's something inside. A family photo? This girl looks familiar. No! Oh. She's the one who didn't look too happy during the mayor's speech. That's my classmate, Rachel. She knows a lot about Pokemon. It's a very small town. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. You know her? Why am 
I just now learning this? Uh, okay, now Tim Goodman. I still don't like that last name. There's something just... It's like John Smith. Okay, anyway. We should return this notebook to Mayor Myers. Yeah, but first we gotta deal with Corviknight. Right, let's go, Pikachu. My friend. Urgh. Now what do we do? That's... Oh, this doesn't look good. Fedov. A regular sight in Rhyme City's parks. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh. Is that Padova unconscious? Don't touch it. Moving this Pokemon could injure it. Just let it lie here. Hey you, big guy. What happened to Padov? Well, I'm at a loss. Nothing we tried so far is working. We've just been standing here staring at it. And it's not working. Hey, can you hear me? Can you even hear me? You, cut your Pikachu's Pika Pika shatter and evacuate the area. There's a dead bird on the lawn. Will Butler, Chief of the Pokemon Protection Bureau. Audino can hear how healthy you are. What? Okay. Now we're starting to get into the good stuff, okay? I need to track down Corviknight and get this area evacuated. But I can't just leave this pit over here. Hey, what happened? Getting my voices mixed up, but that's okay. Calm down, Pikachu. To everyone else, you're just saying Pika Pika. Didn't you know that? I'm the only one who understands what you're saying. Boy, I wish it was meaningful. Oh, right. Sorry. Got a little worked up seeing Padov in such bad shape. Okay, Tim. It's on you to ask the big guy what went down. Excuse me? What happened here? Hmm? Oh, you're that young detective. Yes, I'm Tim Goodman, and this is my partner, Pikachu. Will Butler, Pokemon Protection Bureau, and this Audino is with the police department's rescue squad. Audino. Uh, I'll spare you the details. Right now, we need to help this Padov. All that wind Corviknight whipped up blew it around and knocked it out. Audino used a move to help Padov recover, but it still hasn't woken up. Audino. Chief, no civilian injuries to report at this time. Copy that. Great work. Ugh. Now. I really should get back to leading the evacuation, but I can't just leave this Padov here unconscious. You ought to clear out of here too, young detective. Mr. Butler, let us help you take care of Padov. We'll find a way to wake it up. Yeah, let a couple of great detectives handle this. You? Hmm, this is an emergency situation, one that requires my full attention. Maybe I should let you help. All right. I'll leave. I'll leave waking up this Padov to you. I'm counting on you, young detective. Yes, sir. Let's go, Pikachu. Okay. <sighs> hmm? Hey, why don't we talk to those other Padov? Sure. Let's give it a shot. Right. What have we got to say here? Hold on a sec, Tim. Before we talk to these guys, there's something I need to tell you. I'm leaving town tomorrow. Yeah, what is it? Cases don't just pop up when it's convenient for us. I don't gotta tell you that, right? Uh, right? And it's been a good long while since our last case. Well, that's true. So let's hit pause and jog our memories of how we go about investigating a case. We'll do this one by the book, alright? And if you say so. Tim, 
This is our first investigation in a long time, as I've said. Fortunately, Pidov's injuries are already healed. Doesn't look like it. All we gotta do is find a way to wake it up. Some might call it a coincidence, but me? I call it an opportunity for a detective work tutorial. Perfect, right? I suppose. Let's refresh our memory and make sure we conduct a full investigation. Okay, got it. First, let's quickly go over how we investigate. I talk to the Pokemon, and I talk to the people. Together, the two of us will gather evidence and take testimonies from people and Pokemon and piece them all together to solve the case. Yep, that's how we do it. Exactly. Okay, this round of questioning is all yours, Pikachu. Sure thing, here I go. Hey, Pidov, can I talk to you? I'm guessing you're pals with that unconscious Pidov. Mind if I ask you a couple questions? Cool. It says their friend's taking a nap and won't wake up. So it thinks that unconscious Pidov is just... Sleeping? Coo, coo. You really love the smell of... Wait, huh? What's that gotta do with anything? Coo, coo. Nice, strong aroma makes the sleepy times go away. That's what it's saying. You'd think these Pidov would be more concerned about their unconscious friend instead of chirping about some smell. I'm gathering there's a certain aroma that Pidov are really into. Is it funnel cake? I guess that's all we're gonna get. Maybe we should question some of the other Pidov around here. Hmm. Hey, Tim. Here's some more exposition. Come here for a sec. Oh, okay. Uh, if you get stuck during your investigation, look for the light bulb. Okay. Fair enough. I'm a little curious about what that Padov was saying. Yeah, its friend is unconscious, but all it wanted to talk about was an aroma it likes. Yep. Nice strong aroma makes the sleepy times go away. That's all I could get out of it. It's almost as if it, it has the brain of a bird. Aroma? Sleepy times? Go away? Reminds me of the time I was kicked out of the candle store. Wait, what if it was talking about using some kind of scent? And what if that scent could wake up its friend? That's it, Tim. If we can find the strong aroma those Padov were chirping about, maybe it'll wake up their unconscious friend. That's what I'm thinking. It's worth a shot at least. But how are we going to find a scent like that? There might be some Pokemon who haven't evacuated yet. Maybe we can ask them. That reminds me. Listen up, Tim. I know you're getting tired of me. If you're having trouble during an investigation, you can call out to me anytime. I can give you advice discreetly so no one else notices. Of course, you can also just mull things over on your own. But if you get stuck, it might be a good idea to take a break or retrace your steps. That's important too. Okay, let's talk to Magnemite, one of the original 150. A little jolt from Magnemite here might be just what Padov needs to wake up. Yeah, you can't use your moves, so you'd have to ask Magnemite to do the jolting for you. Is there something I'm missing? Why can't Pikachu use its own moves? Let's not go there. You know I'd use my moves if I could. I'm not going to explain why I lost them, though. Mag? Oh, I'll tell you what the problem is. We've got a Padov that won't wake up. I was thinking one of your electric-type moves could jolt it awake, though probably only as a last resort. Mag, Mag. Oh, you'd be willing to help us out? Thanks. If all else fails, we'll hit you up for an electrifying assist. Mag. Uh, 
Aromatisse. That's a new Pokemon. From what generation? It's anybody's guess. Aroma? You're Aromatisse, aren't you? What are these Pidove surrounding you for? Aroma. They started flocking to it as soon as it got here. These Pidove have been following Aromatisse around? You're asking it to make the nice aroma? Hurry up. Make the nice aroma. 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 The Padova are really getting on its nerves. Seems like these Padova are all drawn to a scent that Aromatisse emits. Which means, Aromatisse might be able to help us wake up the unconscious Padova. Good thinking, Pikachu. Let's ask if Aromatisse is willing to help us out. Um, hey there, Aromatisse. We could use some help. Aromatisse? It'll help us out if we can get these Padova to stop following it around. Fair enough. Let's talk to the Padov. I just hope they understand us. Cool. Sorry to ask you this, but could you move, you know, somewhere else? Hey, now's not the time to stop and smell the aromas. We're trying to help your friend here. Say, guess what? Pretty soon, Romatisse is gonna go make lots of nice aromas right over there. They're on board with the nice aromas over there playing. So they'll move? Great. Aromatis should be willing to help us out now, right? Aroma. It's happy to lend a hand now that we got those Bedov to move. Great. Let's take Aromatis back to the square. Okay, Aromatis. There's the Bedov. Please help it. Aroma. It's using its scent powers. We saved a life today. Thanks to Aromatis. Glad that worked. Yeah, me too. Me too, buddy. Yeah. Okay. Perdov's awake. Audino, Audino. Wow, Aromatis is sent us mid. But it's kind of like a really strong perfume. Where'd you buy it from? I don't get why the Padov like it so much. Alright. Glad you're enjoying it, guys. Aroma. Yep. You are a huge help, Aromatis. Thanks. Whoa. Uh? Uh-oh. It's back again. Come on, let's chase it down. The scourge of Rhyme City is back. I might have accidentally skipped the cutscene. I pressed I pressed A. It's Corvanite again. Hey, give me back my hat, would ya? The chief went after Corvanite in his patrol car. Off screen. I bet Corvanite still has my hat. Let's follow it. Eggs. Eggs. App. Those are Pokemon cries. Sounds like they're coming from the direction Corvanite flew off in. Let's go check it out. Uh. Okay. I want to go in the cafe and get a croissant. Whoa! Get you look. Well, how do you like these apples? They're scattered all over the place. What a mess! Yeah. Is this a tree? Look, I know, I know that this is a kids' game, but. Why do the characters have to be so brain dead? And it's growing here? It's kind of weird. 
Unless... Unless what? No, no, this is definitely weird. Okay, we're, we're not going to acknowledge what it is. <laughs> this is why I zoned out when Pokemon, like, maybe in the fourth or fifth generation. App. It's dangerous here, Applin. You should find somewhere that's safe. Maybe under this tree that definitely isn't a Pokemon. That's odd. Doesn't seem like it wants to leave. Let's talk to it. Hey. I haven't seen any Applin in this city before. Where'd you come from? App, App. Oh, you go to sleep in a wooden crate, and when you wake up... <laughs> Let me try that again. It's just, it's just... It's just the thought of a Pokemon living in a wooden crate and being mistaken as an apple. I don't know. Sorry. You go to sleep in a wooden crate, and when you wake up, you're always someplace new? So the apple vendor travels to different locations, and this applin gets carried along? The apple vendor probably doesn't know about this applin. Apu. Something suddenly shook it awake a moment ago. I'll bet that was Corviknight. Same goes for these crates getting toppled over. I don't see the apple vendor. They must have evacuated the area. App, app. I don't know what it sounds like exactly. So the wooden crate shook. You got thrown out. And that's when you realized your friends were missing? It got separated? Then let's help it find its friends. Good thinking. How many friends were here with you? App. Two? Okay, got it. Hmm. From what Applin said, I think I get what's going on here. But as much as I'd like to go get my hat back from Corviknight, we can't just abandon a Pokemon in need of our help. Yeah, what kind of great detectives would we be? if we didn't lend a help at hand or two along the way. Okay, should we investigate the fallen apples over there? I'd be happy to. It's a start, Sherlock. There, <laughs> there wasn't a tree. <laughs> if there wasn't a tree in the way, you know? Something about it seems odd to me. Maybe we should investigate that first. Okay. Okay, so we can't investigate because this tree's in the way. What should we do about it? Well, we can't just cut it down. It's a living thing. Ache, aches, aches. Whoa! This tree's an executor! Oh my gosh. Oh good, it moved for us. I thought we were going to have to chop it down. Now, we can investigate the scene. Okay. Well, let's take a look. This is where all the apples got scattered around. Let the investigating begin. Remember what we're looking for? The two missing applin. That's right. There's a lot of apples here, so try not to overlook them, okay? All right, well, I see, I see that there's one. Lim. Look, an applin. I found one. Eh? Have you been sitting still, pretending to be an apple this whole time? That must take a whole lot of patience. App, app. Ha, huh. patiently staying still is one of your talents? Impressive. That Corviknight got you wrapped up in quite the mess, though, didn't it? Your friend is waiting for you. Okay. Cool. Now we just gotta find the other one. I like the music. It's an apple crate. No sign of Applin, though. Oh, 
where is the other one? Does it let me... I don't see any applin. At this point, these apples are only good for making juice or jam or something. I'd still eat them, bruises and all. Well, we searched pretty thoroughly. I still don't see my hat or the other applin, though. Hmm, where could it be? It's still... It's still in the crate. Huh? Did you see something move behind that crate? What? No. I didn't notice anything. Try checking again. Maybe something's changed. It's the hat. My hat! Corviknight dropped it. Could have sworn it wasn't here earlier. Anyway, I'm just glad to have it back. Alright, they're gonna lift all up the hat. And the apple Pokemon is gonna be inside. Hey, hey, get back here. The heck? This is hilarious. Hey, quit playing around. Hey, I'm not playing at all. My hat keeps moving on its own. That's ridiculous, Pikachu. Huh? Uh oh, it's on Executor. See? Told you so. Executor. Guess I've gotta go get it. Guess so. Klein, Executor. Wow. Well, Tim, lift me up. Okay. This is a different experience. You all right? Don't hurt yourself. Yeah, don't don't Please, push don't yourself. Oh. I didn't realize I didn't realize stuff like that was going to happen honestly. Wow. Yeah, don't 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 fall. We can't afford to go to the Pokémon Center again. Okay. Now you have the hat. Got it. I did not see that coming. Did any of you see that coming? <laughs> Pikachu! It's an Applin! Oh, are you okay? Whoa! Are you okay? Fine and dandy. Nice catch, by the way. Uh, the apple didn't fare as well. It turned into applesauce. Are the Applin okay too? Yep, they all seem happy to be reunited. So they can be boxed up in crates again. Good. Glad they're all right. Do you remember the point of this game? So one of them was wearing my hat, huh? Seeing it move on its own really threw me for a loop. I'm sure Corviknight dropped the hat bid flight and it just happened to fall on top of Applin. No, oh, yeah. Hey, Tim, where's my hat? Don't worry. I've got it. We're gonna end this B-side plot. At the end of the day, I'm just glad I didn't lose my hat. Yeah. Jeez, that was a hassle. Okay, that's the yeah, detective that's like... that we know and yeah, love. You look like yourself again. Thanks, Tim. Harry gave me this hat to commemorate our partnership. But it's not the hat Board that makes the name. Will resume shortly. We ask that all participants please return to the venue at this time. Uh, I guess we better hurry back. Don Corbinite. Now let it off the hook just this once. Just this once. Not next time, though. No. Not next time. Great work. Thank you. As well, Pikachu. Yep. I can't say it enough. Rhyme City owes you a debt of gratitude for your efforts. We strive for coexistence between people and Pokemon in our fair city. And you two are the ideal detective duo. On behalf of the city, I am pleased to present you with this medal. Nice. Thank you, Mayor Myers. I'm honored. 
Of course you get one too, Pikachu. Yeah, I'm the great detective. Pika Pika to you too, little hero. Both of you. Of the great work. <laughs> Who are these people? I don't know them. That's so strange. Good job, Tim. You and I are doing pretty good. Hey, aren't you supposed to be in school? Later that evening at Tim's apartment. Tim, I was so proud of you today. Irene Goodman, Tim's mother. Okay. You're amazing, Tim. All right, Sophia Goodman, Tim's little sister. You think so? Everyone knows all about the amazing work you two have done. There was the Eevee abduction case, the fossil stealing spree, and the Rhine Tower standoff case, too. They even made a movie based on the R case. Ooh. Yeah, I thought that movie was pretty good, but how come Mom and me didn't even show up in it? <laughs> we don't discuss that. We don't discuss that. Sorry. Mom, please. He saved your dad from trouble many times. Wow. Okay. Oh, Pikachu. The news is about to start. Oh boy. Maybe there's an update on that corporate. Are we gonna watch Fox or CNN? Which yeah. one? What's going on? What's wrong with your sister? She's 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 a little bit comatose right now. Um, okay. Alright, everyone. I guess uh, we're watching the news. We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to bring you this breaking news. Oh, what's going on? According to amateur footage we've received from a viewer, Pokemon appear to have caused an explosion. This explosion occurred in the mountain range northeast of Rhine City. This may be related to the recent that's a pretty nice picture for a thumbnail, isn't it? But again, what's oh. the big deal? <laughs> really? What's the big deal if people know that I can talk to Pokemon? Or at least Pikachu? It's been two years why does it have to incident. why does that have to Since remain then, hidden? We've solved oh, all wow. kinds of cases. The mayor even gave us an award. Oh. I can still talk to Pikachu and understand that. Cool. If the two of us keep solving cases together, I'm sure we'll find my dad someday. Day after the award ceremony at Rhyme City. Hmm. All right. Nice city we have here. Whimsicott. Whoa, that's a lot of Whimsicott. Sure is. They ride through on seasonal winds every year. I hear they can be real pranksters. If they get in a house they like, they scatter cotton everywhere. Oh, that's funny. That sounds like a pain to clean up. Yep. Hmm. The 
Don't smell a coffee is calling my name. I was it's waiting for this. <laughs> Why do Pikachu yeah. like coffee though? Whoa, who's this guy? Professor Oak? Nah, nah. Frank Holiday. I feel like they're putting Inspector these Holiday. names through a random like name Jack? generator. Sorry. I think that's how they got Tim no. Goodman. I'm here on a different case. Let's listen. We've received reports of a jewel theft. Could you lend me a hand with this one? Of course. The incident occurred at the Dennis residence, the mansion down the street. Mm-hmm. Sorry, but Brad is waiting for me. I'll go ahead and meet up with you there. Uh, so much for my coffee. Okay, let's go, Pikachu. Wait a second, Tim. What for? There's no need to rush. You've got to be calm and unhurried if you want to do your best investigating. Yeah, I guess that's true. Okay. P yeah, you know what? I agree. Pikachu is really talkative. So, I can, if I see his icon, I can talk to him. And he'll try to get my attention. That's... That's fair enough. Okay. Hey, don't ignore me. Oh my gosh, Pikachu. Why? Look, I know we need to hurry. But would it really hurt if we relaxed a bit? For instance... Oh, here's a good idea. Coffee. You could listen to some sage advice from a great detective like me. Okay. Oh, but Holiday's waiting. We better go join him. Okay. Well, I think this is a good time to stop the episode. Am I going to play this game again? I don't know. Um, but this is Detective Pikachu Returns on the Switch. Thought I would try something new, something different. Um, anyway, thank you for watching this, and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye for now, everyone. Rest easy.